I had not planned on making this video. In fact, I had a whole other video planned. But over here in the corner, the boys are giggling looking at Tim's phone. And Tim has something to admit to you guys. Tim, what did you do? What's going on? Uh, nothing. So what is this ad for? This ad is for the Gruland G2. You listed the car for sale. Look, we're so busy with all the cars, all the projects. And I know with the new building and the SVJ, the transmission, and more things keep coming up. So I just figured I'd give you guys his money back because we can't work on the car and it's just been down. First of all, you're very kind and warm to think that. Second of all, we would never start selling cars at this level to pay for shit. you're having problems. You don't have to sell your car. How much did you list it for? 25, but- You paid 20 for it, you piece of shit. <laughs> like that. Hey man, quick cash is best. GT4 Gruelin 3S GTE, that's the engine that's in it. 700 horsepower, cool, 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 cool. We put new coilovers. Need lots of work, was involved in small incidents. Small. I need for bills to make off <laughs> Condition. Used. Fair. <laughs> well, you do have to do it now is go and tell Mr. Fryer, who's here with Mike in the room right now. No, 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 no. no you no, have to go no, tell no, Damon no, that. You no, listed no, the car no, we gave no, you for no, sale. Why am I being held by the neck? So you don't run away. Just remember, be confident. Be truthful. At least it'll be off the table. So don't be confident. And lie, maybe you'll have a new job. Maybe you'll be looking for a job after this. Jesus. Tim has something to tell you, Damon. No sh you guys are filming. <laughs> we were just discussing some really cool stuff with the Mercio Lago. Oh, you might have money for that thing. How am I gonna have money? I listed the Gruelin for sale. I know you guys needed the bill money, so I uh, I listed it for sale. You Everything posted it on Facebook posted. Marketplace. I got uh, people messaging me. Shut the front door. <laughs> <laughs> <You listed laughs> <on Facebook. laughs> I do respect the fact that you listed it for five grand more than we bought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is actually really funny. Grueling GT4. Garage cap. 700, 700 horsepower. horsepower. That's what I was told. If we need money, I will sell Dave's stuff for <laughs> yours. I hear you. At the end of the day, we haven't done this car. Nope. So what are we gonna do about that, boys? I leave next week. Why don't you guys work on that car all week? Okay. Here's the good news. I know a guy that can help. Where? He's a very specialist. Where? Let's grab your car and let's start looking at it and let's get a plan. Take this down. Oh, okay. We're can not, you get lower the listen, price? We're not, Hold on. We're not <laughs> you got any offers yet or anything good? Uh, let me see. I got a notification. It says, hi, Tim. Is this still available? <laughs> <laughs> Just say Damon got mad. I can't sell it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I had a huge Bentley update video to film today. That's gonna be later, so don't worry, there's a plan for this car. They won't be happy. Stay tuned. That one. No, they won't be happy about that one. Uh, you guys, you know what? Your boy Dave! Uh, by the way, that's a Dave. Sh that's a Dave choice. That's a Dave choice. The choice is mine, not yours. Dave. Why did you get a Porsche with a hot grill on it? <laughs> <laughs> we actually found a Porsche that'll fit Steven. Hey! Oh. AEM everything! Oh yeah! Oh. AEM everything. When I met Damon, the first thing he said to me was, I have AEM everything, but not joking. They're very aggressive. To be fair, he did have AEM everything, except for the big brake kit, which I had. F***ing jealous about it, he won't give up on that. Okay, Tim. Yeah. What's the current status? Holy sh <laughs> Why is it so filthy? Because it rained. Dude, what the hell? You lifted this car for sale like this? Yeah, I, I took the pictures far away. Things we need to do. That's the throttle position sensor. <laughs> that's why it's not starting. <laughs> it Maybe not. that's an issue. Really? Yeah. That's yeah, why it's not starting. It drives better without it on. Look at the like, throttle body right yeah. here. That is hilarious. No way. All right. So we got to fix that. Intelligent. Okay, Tail someone, someone's are writing this down. Tail lights. This whole top mount for the suspension. Yes. We're going to cut that off and re make it basically raise this plate up okay so that the shocks move up which in effect will basically lower the car more we got the springs as low as it can go the shocks are as low as it can go it's still high off the ground but now we need to make some changes to the chassis itself to get that to work so what else in here other than cleaning this disgusting engine bay out what else in here would you do mike every single bolt needs to be looked at because look at like look at this the intercooler bolts they're gapped right like look at that so eventually this thing's just gonna fall <laughs> oh my god crap. yeah so everything needs to be looked at because so, we don't know who touched it before. How much power does this car actually have, do you think, Mike? Like, what's that motor capable of? It's a little four-cylinder. I, I think with that turbo, it's 400-ish. Hey, we get that that's a bunch of work. Tackling this interior. Yes. The dash is just black. It has some red stitching in it. All right. Oh, Tim, it's dirtier than freaking Steven's car. It's no, disgusting. It's not. But look at the, <laughs> Dude, it's look getting, at the, rat the dash there. Look what at, is all this, bro? Dude, it's a rat nest 
in here. Maybe one of those got pulled, and that's why the car yeah, didn't that, start. Yeah, that gives me anxiety. Bro, what do we do about that? Dude, half of them are cut. Why are they cut? <laughs> like, no joke, they're actually cut. Oh my god. So, Who built this car? We go over and we pick up some Sparco bucket seats. Yeah. Yep. Very much like what we stuck in the 550. We get a fresh Sparco steering wheel. We tear the seats out of here. We get proper harnesses, Sparco harnesses. Yep. Get the safety element taken care of. And what we'll do is we'll get rid of all the red. Black seats. We'll get rid of the carpet. We'll get Cy to redo the red on the side of the console. We'll get you an Alcantara boot. We'll get you a new shift knob. We have Sparco shift knob. Alcantara on the back. And then you'll have just black door panels and black dash. The dash is good. And this thing would actually look pretty clean. Some stuff's definitely gonna have to get rewired. The tail lights, but they were never wired. So there's gonna be a lot of wires that have to get added in here. There's a lot of issues, obviously. Could you make this car actually yeah. be a car that you could take to the track and drive proper? Like, to re engineer? Anything's and... possible, Dave. Anything's possible. It just takes time and money. Yeah. Talk about the rear, talk about the middle, about the front. I really want for these guys and for Tim, I want them to be actually shocked at the before and after of what we do here at DD. That's the whole point. Shock factor. You guys are gonna be like, I can't believe they bought this janky kit car and it now looks like this. That's what DD is all about. And I want Tim to be proud when he drives it around. I want it to be like, F you love him. to not want to sell it on Facebook Marketplace. Hey, I would like Tim not to want to sell it on Facebook Marketplace. Piece of shit. <laughs> Be talking to him later. Can't believe you were gonna sell it. It was Mark's idea. No, it was Mark! Yeah. Oh, Mark. Mark. Oh, get him! No, 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 no. Why's it gotta be the guy who's the only person in the building bigger than me? <laughs> <laughs> Piece of sh Probably both the right idea. These two, you can't separate them. They're probably, you know what? probably collaborating the in the back. It might have been oh, it might have been my idea. It's profit. <laughs> Pull this thing out and let's get it into the garage yes. and put it where it needs to be. We to have a little bit now though. Well, right now it's in the graveyard. This is what I consider the graveyard. If the car's in here, it's likely not gonna do anything. Sorry, Mike, no we offense to We need to get it cars. out of here. By the way, Mike's got some really big news. That's a whole nother video too. It's also a piece of shit. foreshadowing. I promise you we can make this cool. I have a vision for it. Have I ever steered you guys wrong? Except for that one livery I did on Dave's car years ago. Have I ever steered you guys wrong? That was, it was okay. It wasn't bad. It was my least favorite livery, but let's go. It looked like it was like Preserver, that's all. Back it, back it up, but back it up. Dude, it's so dirty. Oh, nothing like the doors up on DD. Just flexing on, right on everybody right now. Flexing on everybody. Look at this. You gotta, Where are you guys going? Oh! You just broke the freaking hinge. Let's get some momentum, boys. To pull one shot to another. Fired up. It like literally does nothing. It does nothing. Well, you clearly just don't have power going somewhere. I'm no mechanic, but I'm gonna go with you don't have power. The, the battery cable is like insanely loose. It wasn't even pushed on here. I just pushed this down. But also like, that's, that's not good for power. That could be an issue. I love how uh, you can just pull the hoses and move them around. <laughs> Let's get that out of the way real quick. <laughs> well, there, we don't need that Put there. Put that over there. It actually puts a little tension on that. Does he have power now? Now try it. Yeah. It's dead. All right, guys, quick interruption to thank today's sponsor, Upside. Do you love earning money? I do. With Upside, you can earn money on purchases you're already going to make anyways. Mark, how's it work? Dude, it's awesome. So right here inside the Upside app, they have all of these awesome opportunities here from different restaurants, gas stations, all kinds of things. The van needs gas. I've already claimed this deal for the gas station down the street, so we're going to head over there now, go grab some gas. We're going to earn some money. Is that that easy? Dude, it's super easy. Let's go. Prove it. Let's go. Let's so now we've claimed our offer here. I'm going to go down to directions, Apple Maps. Has the app built into the application for Maps? on our way. So you're going to turn left, 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 So first, I'm going to pay. Now, you have to buy gas regardless. Upside, there really is no downside. I understand the name now more than ever. And she is done, Mark. Now what do I do? Boom. So now we're gonna come right here. I've paid. We're all done. Five cents per gallon. And I can get an extra 15 cents per gallon if I invite my friends. All right, we've already earned money by getting gas. Now, I'm not actually hungry, but I want to earn some more. So we can go to Cold Stone Creamery. What oh, do you say? Ice cream. Okay, we get 5% cash back in Let's Cold Stone. Let's go! We're earning money every eating ice cream. The free Upside app gets you cash back on daily essentials like gas, groceries, and dining. There are over 100,000 gas stations, grocery stores, and restaurants on the Upside app, but cashback is always just around the corner. And thanks to Upside, I earned $2.26 for my purchase at Cold Stone Creamery. People can earn three times more cashback 
with Upside than any other product. This includes loyalty programs and credit card rewards. Right now, $1 million cash back is being earned by users each week. All you have to do is download the Upside app, claim an offer for whatever you're buying, pay as usual with a credit or debit card, then follow steps in the app and get paid. Top Upside earners are making as much as $300 per month. To find out how much you can earn, click the link in the description to download Upside right now. And use promo code DDE to get an extra 25 cents back on every gallon on your first tank of gas. Download right now. I love earning money. So the car was down for this song because it had a loose and dead battery. You need to make Tim fall in love with this car, so you need to get his input for the livery. So he's really excited about it, and it feels like Tim. I have an idea. It needs color and long hair. I have an insane idea for you. I'm going to give you a $10,000 challenge. The challenge is how crazy of a DD car can you make this car be if I just give you $10,000 cash? The 10 grand can go towards you making it look the way you want it to look. Hmm. I'll do everything else. But you'll have $10,000 dedicated just to you. So at the end of the day, you can do any livery you want. You can pick the wheels you want. You can make the car look the way you want it to look with 10,000 bucks. Nice. Or you can sell it for 25,000 and pocket five grand. What do you want to do? <laughs> I'll take your challenge on. Oh, he's taking the challenge. The shake on it? Yeah. What do I win? What do you mean, what do I win? What the <laughs> hell? What a dickhead, you guys. Comment below. All right, try it again, Timothy. Nothing? Nothing. Are we sure it's not a McLaren underneath here? It's not like one right now. It's an AS McLaren. Trying. Nothing. Try harder. I want you guys to go right now in the comments and comment color schemes or things you think Tim should potentially do to this car. Give him some options. Exterior, what color a wheel, what style of wheel, maybe changing anything on the car. Go wingless, keep the wing on, go with a bigger wing, put some canards on the front end. Because there are little things we could do, but this car overall has got a lot of potential. I have a vision for the car that I think it would look insane, but this isn't my car. So I really do want to give over the ownership to Tim, get him excited. With 10 grand, you can do a lot on this car. Completely transform this car, but I want it to be his. Are your first thoughts, Tim, a uh, color or a livery? Oh yeah, I want to make it look like a shark. What the? F <laughs> this is a good idea. I think it's going to have a livery. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I like that. Watch this be the craziest car you've ever seen on the channel. And I think we're going to change the look of the car. There's going to be some stuff added. Really? And some things removed and replaced with other things. Tim has a vision. This color is god awful. I will admit with you on that one. Great, I Diarrhea. <laughs> but not in a good way. The bronze is for third place. <laughs> Think how crazy this car is for the money. And with Tim's vision, Damon's money, the doors go up, it has a big wing, has a lot of the McLaren F1 inspiration on it. If you're not bought in yet, you'll be soon. Oh, we got power. Start it up. Yeah, I'm ready. There's a dead battery the whole time. That's all we needed. Oh my God. Tighten the battery down. Are you actually afraid to tell Damon that you lifted the car you bought you for sale? Yeah. I felt the anxiety walking into that room. You know. You took it pretty good though. I know. I Do you take it well, Tim? Oh, Do you well. take it well? Take what well? Do you take it well? Um, I'm not sure what you're referring How to. How well do you take it? Um, There's a rotor that actually spins inside there and make the contacts. This is old school as f Yeah, it's cool. It makes flames. Yeah, I worked on a car with a distributor in many years. <laughs> yeah, many years. Many years. From Cheaper, carburetors though. and distributors. 30 bucks for that cap, 10 bucks for the rotor. Let's yep. go. It's just a loose battery the whole time, by the way. You know, I put the terminal back on, but. What are you happy right now? <laughs> you didn't do sh <laughs> Michael Essa did it. We had to get the champ in here. Oh, by the way, we also need to order a uh, front bumper. What happened to the front bumper? Well, Tim? if you go back in time. It's impressive that this car isn't completely destroyed. Dave destroyed an entire vehicle, hitting something way softer than the concrete wall that you hit. And this thing looks actually phenomenal. We all had a part in that. That was very much a you thing. It's funny, he's like, there's no brakes. There's no brakes in the air. When the tires are off the ground, the brakes don't work for some reason. Hey, yeah. thanks for the coaching, you piece of I got you, Dave. Thanks, I know Tim. about no brakes. <laughs> Step one, I think we tackle the interior first, get some proper seats in it. There's nothing worse than trying to drive your car if you're not comfortable in it. Let's rip the seats out. Step one, he's planning out how to cut these off, redesign these, and make it so that this car is more usable from a suspension perspective. Ooh. I say we drop these down to a 19, and there's a reason for that. Follow me, follow me. We have a 305 with a 245 front already in the shop. And right now, this car runs a 20 inch, 305 and 245. That's a 305, 20, 245, 20. But we wanna go down in the wheel size so we have a little more sidewall. Look what we just got. Right Thank there. you to XCOM. 
we have a 305 35 19. That's what we're gonna put on the back of Tim's car. And we also just got the front. 245 35 19. 19. This is gonna be the front. That would be a really good setup for Tim's car. 19 inch rim, these tires, good to go. So an off the shelf wheel off the with shelf. the spacer, that's gonna be the way to go. JDM vibes? Yeah, definitely. Oh! You said I couldn't sell the car, so I'm parting it out. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Tim, you're lucky the audience loves you. Steven, what's tanking so long? He, Tight spot. He had the other door already off. What's what's going on here? You know, you're, you're gonna let Tim show you up like that? Wait, what? <laughs> Bro. I, you I, do realize everything's a competition here, right, champ? Damn straight. <laughs> See? You're currently losing. No pressure. You didn't even help him. You already knew when it was 11 the whole time. I told him. Like, he didn't hey, see it. It's an 11. I told him it was 11. He didn't listen, he didn't listen to you. Oh. Damn, talking sh now. Bam. Okay, come on, boys, follow me. Okay. We're going to put on the top shelf. See, it's a real exotic car because it has shims in it. Hell yeah! Hey, like the Mercy. All right, Tim, you got all this junk in here. What it's is not it? Where junk. is it going? This is uh, hey, What is it? What is this it? Is, hey, Tim's got junk in the trunk. There's no trunk in this thing. I know there's no trunk. That's why you're <laughs> okay, where, what is this? This is uh, a piece of interior. From where? <laughs> From where? It's from right there, the hole. What? <laughs> Dude. So yeah. it's part of the console, that piece. That is one of the pieces I despise is the red. We're going to get rid yeah. of the red. The only red that should be in this interior, what do you think? A little bit of red stitching. That's it. Because there's already red stitching in it. Oh, this is the cover I need before my engine blows up. Wait, oh, right here. What? I thought you already put that on. No, 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 no. Wait, why? Why is your belt so loose? Oh, it needs a little bit of a new belt, maybe. Bro, maybe. That looks like a piece to a fish tank, not to your engine. Well, you can see things behind it. Oh, that's dirty. Tim, why is that piece important? To keep rocks and debris out what of else? here. Do you need more stuff out of here? What is that? I don't know what's in there. Here, you have a look. Oh, this is a rear view. Oh, wait, I don't know what this is. Look at all the stuff Steven's just grabbing out of here. What is this? <laughs> oh, that's your old master cylinder, right? Oh, yeah, that's the old one. The last plane. Clearly, you've not been using it. Look at this. Tim, clean me. Nice yeah. hot air intake, brother. There, there's a hole in it. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, there's right there. there. This is important. No, no, I'll leave that in. You should have it right in the middle. You have your e brake, your shifter, and then your fire. Oh, we'll take the speaker out and put the fire. Nah, keep in. the subs in. Are you kidding me? That was the windscreen. <laughs> Wilson! <laughs> look at it, look at it. Wilson! <laughs> Shop Wilson. I almost want to keep it like that. There's lights? Yeah. yeah oh yeah, under there? Your McLaren doesn't have that. No. We'll take the seats out. We'll take these fake harnesses out. Bam! Boom. Very nice sharp. and clean. My work here is done. Oh, it came with wrenches. What? It's, it's like on? a Ferrari. Oh, is a 10 mil missing? No, 10's there. Six is missing. Somebody lost the 10. It went so far! Oh, there's my fuel filter. You're a fuel filter? Yeah, it doesn't have one right now. Yeah, it's a side mounted seat, so it seems pretty normal so far. But I don't think it's like a proper width, like a normal seat. Because look how small this seat is. Yeah, it's tiny. So I think the, the actual bracket is probably welded to the car and we're gonna have to cut it out. I hope that it's normal width, that way we can just put a seat in it and yep. not have to fabricate a way to mount a seat, but we'll see. Right? Steve, you ever worked on a car like this? No. No? I don't know, mine was bad. What do you think about the uh, the build quality so far? <laughs> Who's gonna have their seat out first, Tim or Steve? Me. You sure? Yeah, because yeah. I had to go walk two miles to get a 10. Wait, you had- Two miles? Yeah, you threw it outside. <laughs> Who you guys get your money on? Tim or Steven? Tim's seat looks looser. Oh, we got a sub back here. Bro, I'm telling you. We got the tune. Come you on, know, Tim. Tim. Tim, what's the first song you're playing? All I do is win, win, win. So Steve, your side is stuck in there. Oh, yeah. You got this, uh, the fake handbrake, e-brake situation. Yep. The roof liner's in your way as well. Oh, Mike's coming in hot. It's going to cut it sick. <laughs> oh, wait, he's cheating. Me first. Nope. Me first, me first. <laughs> I hear you, Mike. I have an Allen that's in the way. Nah, no, 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 he's just saying that. Boom, done. Boom. This is a tillet seat, which I've only seen in go karts Yeah, that's why it's so small. Dude, it's crazy. Look at this little thing. It's so mini. I don't think there's any type of ratings on here. Yeah, we need to put some real seats in there. Oh, it's oh, yeah. it turned up the base too much. Bro. Damn, is that made out of cardboard or MPF? Yeah, I think <laughs> that's cardboard. Water damage. Holy sh balls. Oh, well, <laughs> probably worth 20, 30 bucks. 
built tough though. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna lose like 400 pounds off this car when we're done. From the air suspension, the sub boxes. This is going to be, at the end of the day, we need to come up with a real name for the car. Yeah. A real name. That we can thing. brand and make a badge for the back. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Oh, that's the mountain bracket? Yeah. Oh, oh! <laughs> the, the like it's a main hoop roll bar here. Oh. And then it's got this like inch tube. and a half or inch and three quarter, maybe two inch square tubing across the back. But the thing I don't like is that these are so sharp. So where they mount, oh, it's, it's just exactly really sharp. Yeah, so I think we just need to wrap something around there before we put the belt back through it, like a, an abrasion resistant, like a piece of hose or something. Cause it's not oh, bad. It sounds like Tim. It's, yeah. it's thick, it's strong. All right, just, just ignore yourself. Dave. Tim likes ladies. Off camera, what the f <laughs> Huh? Yeah, exactly. Freaking the sheets. One piece of the car that legit would be really expensive to replace. We're gonna have to get the angle grinder for this one. Why? We got a strip bolt. That I wonder they put an Allen in here. Oh, because they stripped it into it, yeah. Tim's hose and strippers. <laughs> and a guy named Allen. With the power bomb. You wanna try it again? Hit him with the power bomb. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Ah. One more, one more. Look at it. Here's your brand new bumper from the owner of this company. He saw the viral video of like 20 million views. Not as many as Damon sliding the Huracan through the garage, but nevertheless, Tim, valid effort. And about your brand new bumper. So there you go, buddy. What do you say? Thanks. Look at the camera and say it. Thanks, Diego. Go, Diego, go. You can, you can walk off when you make the shot. Nice white tee, yeah. like someone I know. <laughs> that <new laughs> it looks <grill>. good. <laughs> the the, the very, resemblance very is uncanny. Same tan, too. Same tan. Oh, you could rip that seat off your bare fucking right now. You want me to? Yeah. No, you can't. No, he, he can't do it. Discover uh, show. No, he can't do it. Rip it out, Damon. Rip it out, Damon. I got my hands dirty again. I broke the blade. <laughs> <laughs> this, car, this car is defeating all of us. Ah! Yeah, 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 yeah. Get some there. Oh, you're almost there, dude. Break that. Break that, dude. Break it. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the whole car's gonna break in half. Let's go. That was so epic. That was satisfying. By the way, when I was using the pry bar, did a little damage right there. But we'll oh, yeah, your door cell. You, you'll need one of those. But we'll, that's in your budget. We'll fix that. Oh, yeah. We'll fix that. We'll fix that. We'll Mike, you've worked on thousands of cars. Yes. You ever had to do that before? Never like that. Never. It's the first time. It's the first for everything. <laughs> I hear somebody. Was that the Edge and the Criminal? Are they coming here? No, no, no. That sounds like a V8 yeah. McLaren. <laughs> so Whoa! Problems have arrived. Hey Ryan, how are you? Ryan! Ryan! What is that?
do it again and not mess up. All right. <laughs> How you been? I've been amazing. How you been? Dude, I just saw a message saying you and your wife are coming on Gold Rush with us. We are going on Gold Rush. Bro! Last minute, we got Let's a babysitter. Go. She finally let go. Because you know how moms are, dude. Dude, it's they hard. Have, they have to My mom left when I was 10, so I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Savage. Sorry Has your wife Alex. been through cool pilot training yet? I, You know what? I was literally on the way here, and I had a phone call with her. I was FaceTiming her. I'm like, we're going to sit down. We're going to whiteboard it. Oh, yeah. It's a real thing, dude. Like, we're going to really sit down and freak her out and see how she acts. Go after FBI! <laughs> Fire! Get on the radio, get on the radio. Where are they going? Where are they going? Where are they going? Where are they going? What are you doing? What are you doing all day long? Let's go. Here's what I can tell you about rallying with your wife. It's much like boxing. Everybody has a plan until they get in the ring, get punched in the mouth. Stop, I need to pee. Stop. No matter where the f no nah, chance. <laughs> nah, chance. It has to be miserable to have fun. That's the deal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've been divorced twice. <laughs> I think you gotta drive it like this, dude. This would be sick. Can you drive it out? Yeah. I guess so. So you just wanted to check the oil before you took it outside. How's it looking? It's in between low and high. It's good enough. Is it, does it look clean, dirty? What do you think? Oh, it's not clean. Turn it up. Okay. Cold start. Oh. Come on. Oh. No power. It's on. It's on. Yeah, he even tightened the terminals. Mike's been gone mm -hmm. for five minutes. Yeah. Green light now. And the car doesn't work anymore. Just it to him. It doesn't have any power. Nice. Is it good? Uh, I can try. Start it up. Woo. Oh, Go ahead. Try it now. It's dead. What is going on with this car? It's dead. <laughs> Dude, your negative is sparked. You got a bad connection. All right. Finally got it to start. It's good to go. So Tim's going to drive it outside now. We'll see what happens. came flying out. Dude! And I don't know where they are. No, he oh, them over. His they keys. Sparked. They sparked. Dude, I don't know where his keys, keys are. are. Wait! Dude, don't pick them up. Don't pick them up. They sparked like crazy. Tim, that's your keys. Your keys fell out. Oh, give me my keys. Did I run them over? Oh, you, you drove it over. Oh, that's oh, no. savage. Yo, what's this? Hey! 
<laughs> Dude. Dude. Dude! It's actually hot. Ow! That one's hot. That one's really hot. Look at how burnt that one is. That one's hot. Hey, Tim. Tim, you're reckless. I hope my car starts. Okay, get your keys, put them in a safe spot, and let's do it again. Come on. Feels better than last time. Fun. <laughs> yeah. At one point, I thought you were going on the wall. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, like I clenched a little bit. Dude, this thing's running so good. Look, it's shooting flames and everything. Oh, heck yeah. Just yeah. you wait until I put the new motor in. What new motor? I'm gonna put a.